Our first trip to Africa in early 2006 was motivated by a couple different things. One was the realization that our hometown Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is an average American town, was actually at the top of the list of AIDS cases in America. So if an average town like Tulsa is at the top of the list, what does that mean for the rest of the country? As we began to learn more about the issue with AIDS, we looked at what's going on in Africa and the massive pandemic that they're faced with. Our time in Africa was life-changing. You see these people that are faced with death sentence, the combination of AIDS and HIV with poverty, which are intrinsically connected. These are problems that they have to face every day. You have doctors like Glenda Gray at the Chris Haney Bear Gwanath Hospital that's focused on preventing the transmission of AIDS from mother to child. And still, they're focused. They're not downtrodden, even though there's still so much to do. While we were in Africa, we recorded with two different children's choirs. These weren't professional choirs. They were kids from the school in Soweto, which is at the heart of the AIDS pandemic in Africa, and also a few kids from an orphanage in Mozambique. As we were working with the kids in Soweto, and they were singing on the song Great Divide, they sang a Zulu chant, Nadi Natema, which means, I have hope. As we heard the meaning of that, it gave us all chills. After our trip to Africa, we decided to use our music. We released the song Great Divide on iTunes, with all our proceeds going to the hospital in Soweto that's working on the prevention of AIDS from mother to child. After that, the question was, how can we extend the message of taking action through simple things, using what you have to make a difference? We said to ourselves, there's got to be something that we can do. There's got to be a way that we can make this issue that much more real. We came across the idea to do walks. The idea was to walk one mile in someone else's shoes, uh, and we did it before every concert. We stumbled across a shoe company called Tom's Shoes who give away a pair of shoes every single time they sell a pair. And we said to ourselves, wow, this is real. This is one for one. This is exactly what we want to say to our fans. You can make a difference in someone's life just by buying a pair of shoes. Uh, take us ready to take the walk today. The goal with the walks was to help Tom's shoes sell 50,000 pairs of shoes. One pair bought is one pair donated. And when we began the walk campaign, we didn't know for sure whether that was going to be possible. But after walking mile after mile through snow, through blistering heat, through rain, um, 48 miles later, amazingly, we reached that goal. 
50,000 pairs of shoes that started with one pair. Here in West Hollywood, really excited to celebrate 48 hours from now. Tom's shoes are going to be delivered to kids in South Africa one at a time. Close behind, we'll be on a plane, Jason Blake and the Tom's crew. As much as we want to be able to walk in every city and talk to every person that's, that, that's interested in, in trying to help fight poverty or help um, provide treatment for kids living with AIDS, we can only do so many miles. We can only give so many songs. And so I think our job now is to inspire the people around us to make the walk bigger and to take their own walks uh, outside of uh, what we do. Uh, and so that's what we're trying to do, encourage people to um, host their own walks and um, spread the ideas that we as a generation really have a role unlike any before us. What could thousands of us, or even let's, let's go as far as saying millions of us, that said, I've got this, I've got this, I've got a song, I've got an idea. And what if they put that to use? What if each of us decided to challenge ourselves just a little bit and say, I can make an impact with this small action? What that says is that something as simple as a song written by three guys from Oklahoma could travel all around the world inspiring people to do something incredible with their lives. Um, and that it doesn't matter how small it seems that you have an incredible power to make a difference. We know that if we're going to go out there and take walks and try and walk around the world and try and make a difference, we're going to need a song to sing. We're going to need music playing behind us. And our hope is that if nothing else, we can be that song. We can stand on the stage and we can continue to inspire. Take you guys everywhere with us. Exactly. <laughs> you guys on the road. Wow. So awesome.